Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 15th of 2020. Well, it is titled Carina Nebula close up. So what do we see here? Well, this is the Great Carina Nebula, or a very large star forming region. And in fact, one of the largest star forming regions within our galaxy. Star forming regions are concentrations of gas and dust. And while there is a lot of gas and dust throughout the galaxy, when it is concentrated in the star forming region, there's an energy source that causes it to be illuminated. And that is the energy and the ultraviolet radiation from all of the hot young stars that have formed. And those will excite the gas and cause it to glow. So while there is hydrogen gas elsewhere in the galaxy, when it is here in a star forming region, we can actually see it. And we can see a lot of that hydrogen gas of glowing very brightly here. But we also see some dark dusty areas and you can see a number of dark knots here. And those are concentrated regions of dust and regions where star formation is just beginning. So in the earliest stages of star formation, a large cloud of gas and dust will begin to collapse. And if the dust is dense enough, it'll block out the light from behind it and keep us from being able to see into that cloud. It's sort of like a cocoon around the star. So we are unable to see into that uh, with visible light ordinary light that we're used to looking at will not penetrate through that dust. It's like looking through a wall. However, if we look at it in the infrared portion of the spectrum, then we would be able to see into those. And that's one of the ways we can study some of the very earliest stages of star formation. As the process continues, more stars will pop out and will begin to excite the gas around them and will cause uh, the gas around them to glow. Now one of the very prominent stars here is the star Eta Carinae and that is off towards the lower left here. And that is a incredibly massive star over a 100 times the mass of our sun and about towards the limit to what we believe a star can actually achieve. So there is actually a limit to how big a star can be because of the intense rate of nuclear reactions in the center will eventually create so much radiation pressure it'll push the star apart and keep any more material from adding to it. So it'll be strong enough to overcome gravity and push some of that outer material away, keeping the star from growing any larger. It is also the type of star that is expected to go supernova. And if we look at this star, we can even look at it and have looked at it before up close. This is the type of star we would watch for and expect sometime in the near future to explode. And whether that be next week, next year, or a 100 years from now, it is still a star that astronomers will be watching as there seems to have been a large number of supernovae in this area. And of course, some of them could be seen Others could be completely hidden by the dust. There is that much material there that it can completely block out light from around it. So we need to use other things such as x-ray x-ray emissions to be able to see many of those supernovae. So here we get our image of the Carina Nebula. So that was our picture of the day for February the 15th of 2020. It was titled Carina Nebula close up. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be planetary nebula portrait. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.